Hey everybody, we are going to take a look at the histology of the pineal gland. Uh, the pineal gland is in the brain, so it's one of the endocrine uh, glands that you can find in the brain. Not every region of the brain produces hormones, most just have neurotransmitters. Um, the pineal gland produces melatonin. Right now we're at 40x. Melatonin is a hormone that regulates your circadian rhythms, your 20, roughly 24-hour cycles like your sleep-wake cycle. Uh, we're going to go to 100x. We can start to see cells here and a bunch of other things, which I'll get to in a second. And then 400x. So honestly, there's nothing too remarkable about, about the histology here. Just a bunch of cells, right? Those, most of the cells you see are either um, pinealocytes, which are the cells of the pineal gland, pinealocytes, or, or they're uh, glial cells. That's not the distinguishable thing to help you identify what, what the pineal gland is. What is distinguishable are these other things that aren't cells. Let me zoom back out. You got these weird clusters of things. Uh, they're concretions of mineral. Uh, the colloquial name for them is brain sand. You've got all this brain sand in your pineal gland. Um, there's no real understanding of what it does or why it's there. We just know that the older you get, you tend to have more. So really, that's what I want you to use as a landmark for you to help to re recognize that this is the pineal gland. If you see brain sand, if you see these weird crystalline things spread throughout a bunch of unremarkable cells, you're in the pineal gland. That's really it. Pineal gland, you got pinealocytes and, and glial cells, but you also got this brain sand. Produces melatonin.